missed a bare hander on the side. We do have to address I did, that. I know, yeah. I did. I know. I was bad. I, know, I tried to throw it to JT, and I know it was terrible. You were. I, you could. T- I could tell in that moment. As much as you were frustrated with with your team, that was the most frustrating moment well, of the game. Catching heat from Burquest and oh. Paul. So that's why. I mean, they're giving me <laughs> heat. That Paul's giving you hard. Time. Paul Cantabena with us here on the All Access Post Game Show, Coach. Um, you, you know, you talked. Guys talked about the clears at halftime. You missed just one in the second half. I would imagine you were happy with that. How that progressed as the game went on. Yeah, we just gotta relax a little. Sometimes I think that time and sometimes Dylan, they just kind of force things to try to move and try to go a little too quick. So we just got to take our time. Then we got plenty of time to do it and move it. And I think that once the guys settled down a little bit and did a good job in the third quarter, it all kind of fell into place. And, you know, we'll get better at it and we'll improve. And, you know, we just got to make sure we play, to the, play up a little bit to our, our level of play and not play down. Coach, you got some great offensive performances from some attackmen tonight, especially Brandon Watson. Showed you know some diversity in his game with some dodging, some shooting, some finishing inside. Yeah. What has he done to get better each week uh, as the season's progressed? Well, you know he he didn't play last year, so now you know he's with us now. So he's just getting back in the playing condition. So he's getting better all the time. Uh, we like the way he's dodging now, and he's getting better and better. So by the end of the season, he's going to be real good. And we don't think he's even reached his potential yet. And so as he gets better, he's going there. But he you know, but he's so multi-dimensional. He can play midfield for us as he did in a couple games and. Bring him off the bench and do that or he can dodge he can feed he rides now you know he's doing a little bit of everything so that type of attack when really lets us do a few things offensively and I think it takes the pressure off JT and Wade and, and, and uh, Tyler I got sort of a lacrosse theory question for you coach wow, we're going to the um, you guys are really good in face-offs tonight but one of the things that we noticed we talked about on the broadcast was going backwards off the face-off and and yep. then you end up having to clear a little bit more is that a, st- a strategic thing is that something that you want these guys to do can you tell me a little bit more well, about that you know as a face-off guy uh, I took one or two, so you got to take what they give. <laughs> they got to take what you give us. I think sometimes our guys are real anxious just to try to always go for breaks, and a lot of faceoff guys are the way they teach themselves now is always to go forward, and that's not necessarily the case. We got to relax, take the wins, and get possession of the ball. And I think that Justin's doing a much better job of that. I think Dan does a really good job of that and going behind. And so we're getting you take the wins. Let's get the ball. We don't need to look good all the time going forward. And I think it's making it much easier on us getting those wins for sure, and then getting the possession. And I thought we did a good job clearing it once we got it back up and to get some opportunities out of it. Coach, one of the better shooting performances you've had in a long time as a team, over <laughs> fifty, over fifty percent, I think. So, um, what do you attribute that to? I know how much, how hard you guys work on shooting in practice, but um, just shots. Like well, I think you know, I think that we're getting better shots. I think the guys are working. I thought you know, like Parrish Young's going harder to the goal. I think Morgan Pritchard's going harder to the goal. Donna Frio, you know, took you know, passed up some no angle shots to really work hard to get better angle shots. You know, I think that uh, JT's finishing better. You know, he's getting to that point, and Watson's now early on. He couldn't buy a goal. Now he can't miss. You know, so now you know guys are getting better at shooting the ball, and you know we get Karassi to shoot the ball a little bit better. We'll be in good spots because I think you know Christensen shoots it well now, and so we got a lot of guys who can shoot it. And I think there's our shot selection early in the season kind of hurt us at times, and I think you know we're getting better at that and getting better shots. So that's good. Obviously, a quick turnaround tomorrow night. Yeah. How much does it help? Again, bring yeah, your, bring right. your go. <laughs> Another fun uh, conference game tomorrow night. And how much does it help to have it done the back-to-back early in the season? Well, it helps because we know how to handle a little bit better and stuff like that. And this team wasn't as physical as the last time we did it, so I think we'll be all right going into it. I think we'll play much better defensively. Not one, of, not a great defensive performance by us at all. And I think our guys will be much more ready to play tomorrow versus Hood and be ready to go, especially against Widener in the weekend. So you know, we'll be ready to go and do it again. And I think that, you know we'll be used to it. I think our guys are excited to do this. Why we play the games and they're excited to get out there and go again and you know we're in shape enough to do this so the conditioning is not a factor for us and we'll be ready to go and finally the weather's starting to get nice so it's fun to play you know i don't have to let yeah. eight layers on or anything <laughs> like that so it makes it a little more fun hey curry how did dad do tonight Good. yeah he said he did good all right, all right. we'll get thanks him. curry I appreciate, I appreciate that i had to hire somebody at halftime to get him something to eat because he was hungry so but his mom left me in such good condition she goes oh i gotta leave at 7 30 i'll see you later i go oh great thanks trace i appreciate that <laughs> and that's what yeah that's what moms do you know it's just like hey you got him right yeah i'm just doing this coaching thing don't worry about it. it's easy what'd you eat at halftime right Gary? yeah yeah I don't yeah, know. He's, he's, he's ready to go. Yeah. Right. So, Coach, he's already an hour by yeah, right. <laughs> Coach, I appreciate it. Thanks for coming up and chat with us. We'll see you tomorrow night. All right, appreciate it, guys. Thank yeah, you. Absolutely. Coach.